adult uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. We'll be talking a bit about the assessment, the diagnosis, the treatment, and some of the issues faced. A common genetic, uh, genetically linked kind of condition. And if one member of a family has ADD, there's an eight, uh, eightfold increase and another member of the family will have ADD as well, compared to the general, general population. Many people battle with distractibility, poor concentration, uh, impulsivity, adrenaline-seeking kind of activities, a trail of incomplete tasks behind them, uh, hobbies and interests and jobs and the various kinds of things that, that, uh, that may be there. Uh, sometimes uh, problems with working within authority kind of bureaucratic kind of structures, high energy, seeing things that other people don't see, joining the dots that other people don't see, uh, many kinds of advantages in it, but equally um, many things which if you're not in the right environment can be difficult. Primarily the diagnosis of ADD is made on a clinical grounds. When we say that, it's made by talking to somebody who knows about ADD and then making the diagnosis based on the history and the information that they get based on family history, childhood history, behavior. It's very much a clinical diagnosis. And when one makes a diagnosis, first one looks at primary and secondary conditions. What is the primary condition that a person has, and then are there any secondary conditions? If one can look at some of the treatment in terms of ADD, these are recommendations for children and adolescents, which comes of, out of the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry in 2007. But they are relevant in terms of adults as well. If one looks at the treatment of, of ADD, there really are a number of um, headline issues that need to be looked at for the various kinds of, of medications. But certainly medication, any holistic program for ADD at least should have considered the possibility of medication. Not everybody needs medication, not everybody will end up on medication. Even people who try medication, not everybody benefits from it. But there are enough people who do very well with medication to say that if you're going to have a holistic uh, treatment in terms of AD, at least medication should be considered and perhaps tried as part of the, as part of the, the mix of interventions. Um, so there are other medications that are used. Risperdal certainly is used. Seroquel is used. Abilify is sometimes used. Geodon is sometimes used. Um, and then, then things like Tofranol um, are sometimes used as well. In the, given the right environment, the right circumstances, people with ADD really enrich the world. They, they enrich those around them. They add a lot of value to, to the world. They add a lot of, a lot of quality to the world. Um, they see things that other people don't see. They're willing to, to do things that other people don't do. Sometimes they're risk takers and we're willing to do that. Um, they often do best when they're developing their own thing rather than being part of a bureaucracy or organization. But there's no doubt that, that many people with ADD do, do add a lot of, a lot of value.